Ladies and gentlemen, we have a load of Mickey Mouse bull squash here. As you can see from the in-game news, legacy controls on controller have seven days left. It says you have seven days to manually change your settings. Go to controller options to turn off legacy look controls now. So what does this mean? Long story short, the PC players have complained, the pro players have complained, the PC streamers, Cypher PK, all these big streamers have complained nonstop because they're such sissy Barbie girls that they wanted aim assist on controller nerfed. Sure, let's not talk about forced crossplay where PC players have a stomping ground on controller players like me. It's absolute bull squash. There's no way a PC player should lose to a controller player. If a PC player loses to a controller player, they're just bad. It's not because aim assist on the PlayStation or Xbox. Everything a PC player has at their disposal should make them win nine out of 10 gunfights against a controller player. They can edit better, they can build better, they can aim better, they have better frames per second, everything is better for them. And yet they complained about aim assist on console and now it's getting removed and nerfed. Aim Assist itself isn't getting removed entirely, but the legacy controls, as you can see on this screen, are getting removed. So let me explain what this means. So if you go into your settings here and then you go over to controller options, and again, this only applies to console players, you can fiddle with your sensitivity, your Aim Assist, your ADS sensitivity, all this stuff. But right here under advanced sensitivity, this is what they're removing. So there's two settings, there's linear and there's legacy. And if you put use legacy look controls, which is what I've used ever since it's been a thing, those were the old, old, old controls with basically I'd call it, well, PC players would say super aim assist. Now, not too long ago, we got an update where you could use the new linear settings. However, if you didn't want to do that, you could still use the old settings, which is what I've done here, the legacy. And it says copy from legacy. And basically, that imported all my settings from how the game used to play before they introduced this linear setting. So you can see these are my settings right here. I've got super slow sensitivity. But basically, let me tell you the difference between legacy and linear. So again, legacy is what's getting removed and linear is what you're gonna have to be forced to use now. So legacy had the really, really good aim assist from long range. So say for example, an assault rifle. Now linear has smoother building, smoother editing and better aim assist in close quarters. But you will totally notice your aim assist is not as good from medium to long range. So for the majority of players that use legacy like myself, you're gonna be completely off your game. The aim assist is nowhere near as good as it was on Legacy. And because of this, because some PC players or some PC streamers would get beamed and lasered out of the air once in a match if they launched like bozos, they complained every single time. Oh, it must be a controller player. I just got lasered for a million damage. That's what they'd say every single time, regardless if they knew it was a PC player or a PS4 player. But like I said before, Legacy is getting removed. So you've got seven days to change this if you're on Legacy. If you don't have this use Legacy look controls on, like I do, then you have nothing to worry about because you're already on the linear settings. So I only use linear once or twice when it first came out a few months ago just to test it and I didn't like it. Like I said, long range, medium range, aim assist is garbage on it. But close quarters and building and editing should feel much better to you. So I like my long range aim assist and now it's getting taken away because of all these sissy Barbie girls. So that's what this means. There's two settings, legacy, linear, Legacy is the better aim assist and it is getting removed. So again, this only applies to you if you have the old legacy controls on and even some of the pros use this. So I don't know what they're gonna do. They're gonna have to get accustomed to linear now, but that's what this means. So I'll tell you what here, since I'm in the same boat as most of you, if you use legacy, I will fiddle around with the linear settings and see if I can figure out the best settings possible to closely mimic the old legacy settings. But like I said, your aim assist is gonna feel off. It's gonna be completely different. 
and this basically just screws every single console player that have used Legacy over. I mean, you're going to be playing a brand new game, basically, and it stinks. And yet, Force Crossplay is still on. We're still going to get absolutely pub stomped by PC players, and now we're at even more disadvantage because we lost one thing that kept us in the fight, a little bit of aim assist. So if you couldn't tell, I'm quite upset by this. I mean, I've focused on the legacy controls since day one. These have been my controls since day one. I'm a season one player, day one of the PS4, and they're taking it away from me and forcing me to learn something new, something that I don't even want to learn because I'm content where I was with my controls. Now they elaborated more on their Twitter posts. They said, if you don't change these things in seven days, then they'll do it for you. And this is a direct quote from them. They said, note, players who have the use legacy look controls enabled when the setting is removed will have their legacy sensitivities automatically converted to the new sensitivity settings. So basically, just don't touch anything. It tells you to go manually change your stuff. Don't do it, it'll automatically convert your current settings to the linear one. But like I said, it's gonna be a whole new game. Everything's gonna feel different. It's not gonna be anywhere close to what you're used to experiencing. So just heads up, seven up, it's gonna take some getting used to. But like I said, you don't really have to do anything. They specifically said it will automatically convert you're just gonna be in a world of hurt. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is TaborTime.